Welcome to TerraSpecial. In this video, we are going to see how to add a WMS layer in QGIS. So for this, I am going to use Bowen website. So we are going to use a WMS layer from Bowen website. So just type Bowen. So you can see here, welcome to Bowen. This is the official website of our Indian government. And uh, it has been uh, managed by the ISRO. So after landing into the page, you can see the option thematic services. So just click on it and uh, you can see the option select theme. So here you can find a lot of uh, layers available, WMS layer. So you can see land use, uh, wasteland, glacial lakes, geomorphology, lineaments, water bodies and, uh, and lot many. So in this uh, video, I'm going to just uh, show you the example of a uh, geomorphology. Okay, I have just uh, clicked on the geomorphology option and I'm going to select and state and uh, just you can just uh, go to the uh, district also but I am just limiting to the state here and just select the option view and you can see here the entire uh, Kerala's uh, geomorphology has been uh, shown in the shown as a web map so this is the WMS layer which is uh, gonna be used in QGIS. So that is what we are going to see how to add it into QGIS. And you can always find the, uh, uh, that is a uh, legend here for this map. And now we have to go to the option web services. Here, come down, you can see two links. One is for open layers, gear users, and other one is for QGIS, UD, ArcGIS, and other users. So we are going to just copy this link URL, copy it here and you can just see the uh, name, just uh, check on it, Geomorphology Kerala, okay. So now we are going to go back to the uh, QGIS and uh, we are going to just select the option layer and go to the option add layer and once again come down and select WMS slash WMTS layer. Now here you can see. I, uh, I had uh, previously add another layer so just uh, leave it and we are going to just uh, create a new one if you are new just uh, select the option new and we have to specify any name for it you can just uh, give any name I am going to just uh, give a geomorphology because it is a geomorph geomorphology map and just place uh, paste the link which we have copied from the born website okay now go to the uh, go back to the QGIS and just uh, give OK. Okay. The uh, next thing is that we are going to just connect with it. So you can see here the data is being connected to the Bowen server. So we are going to use the WMS map from Bowen. Okay. Now I'm just sorting it and uh, just click on anywhere and I am going to just select uh, press on G because it is a geomorphology map so G is a short short uh, cut for it and just come down and you can see the layer name geomorphology KL so which we have already seen in the Bone website okay so you can see here this is the same layer just for uh, checking it I am showing you and we have to just add it so once we have added it you can see the background of the layer and I am just closing it here now you can just uh, zoom in and check the geomorphological features of the Kerala state And uh, yeah, the final thing is that we, if you need this uh, layer, you can just export it. Just click here and uh, go to the option export and just select save as. And uh, you can see here, just unselect the create VRT and uh, just select the file name or the output location. So you can see here, I have already downloaded it, but still I'm going to show you how it has to be downloaded. Okay geomorph one and just give save 
so i need the yeah i need this entire layer so it has been calculated from the layer otherwise you can just uh, select from the ma uh, map canvas extend or current layer extend whichever three you can just uh, use any one of this option based on your study and go down to go down to the option columns here i'm going to just specify 8000 just for example so that we can download the data and yeah now we have to just give ok so here you can see the download has been started you can see the percentage which has been increasing so you can see here it has been uh, successfully downloaded okay and it has been also uh, also added here so now i'm going to remove that so just removing it here okay now you can see here the legend uh, make sure to just uh, take a screenshot of the screenshot of this uh, legend in order to have a reference okay so i'm just removing this layer that is the wms layer and I'm going to add the exported map here. Go down to go, go to the option raster, and uh, we have to select the layer geomorph, geomorph one, and just give open. Yeah, close it. So you can see here the map has been loaded, and you can uh, just uh, have that uh, screenshot of the legends in order to do a mapping work. So we have to really thank the uh, NRSE Bhuvan and Indian government for this uh, support for giving us the valuable information for researcher students. So likewise, you can just download the WMS layer. You can all also use the other layers. Uh, you can see the land use land cover 2011-12. You can do the same uh, thing here, here also. I'm just selecting uh, Kerala and uh, going to the option web services. You, you, you have to just uh, copy the link okay otherwise for the first time you have to copy the link otherwise you can just uh, go to the option uh, layer and uh, add layer once again you have to go to the wms okay here you can see a lot of maps is been already available so you have to just click and just add it for the usage there are a lot of maps so for example, I'm just showing you this map. I'm going to just add it here. Okay, it has been added. So you can see here, this is a land use map. It can be also be uh, exported, same as the previous layer. So if you have any further doubts or uh, any uh, ideas, you can just add on to the comment section. So thanks for watching this video, please do subscribe, goodbye.